Nova. How about if I turn my lights on? Hey, hey, oh, no, no need to applause. No need to, no need to applause. Stop, you guys. Stop, stop. stop. You guys are too much. Oh my gosh. Hi, everybody. What's going on? How are y'all doing? It's good to be back again. What the frick? Nova, how you doing, buddy? Welcome on in. Congrats on being first. Yo, your favorite game? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. That's right. We're playing Nova's favorite game today. Surprisingly, it's not Celeste. Surprisingly. But we are playing his other favorite game, which is no uh, Holy Diver. Holy Diver. Okay, Holy Diver. Holy crap, it's Holy Diver. We're going to attempt to get this... We're going to attempt to get this finished up tonight. I have it on good authority that we're going to do it. I sure hope so. All right. Tweet has been tweeted. Lights are on. Camera ready. Action. Captioning is on. All right. I think we're good to go. Nova, how was your day today, dude? How are you feeling today? How is LCG doing as well? Hope you're both excellent. I don't think I... Let me check this. I don't think I did the controller. I got to fix the controller. All right. Now we're good to go. <clears throat> you believe in me? Thank you. Thank you, Nova. I need people believing me. I need... All of the chatter. I need all of the support. All the confidence. This game is freaking stupid dumb hard. Okay. And plus I'm missing one. Health upgrade. Which really sucks. I don't like missing that health upgrade. Um, we're going to keep the music on because... Why would we not want to keep the music on, right? <clears throat> uh, let me see. I'm going to see if I can't add in an image here. Do you look this up? Is this what you looked up right here? Holy diver, dude! My kids are, are my kids are starting already, and it's it's annoying me. Holy diver, you've been locked in town in a midnight sea. Yeah, it is based on the band. You're right. I don't want to mess with the Pokemon area too much. Yeah, see, I'm I'm actually over. Oh, gosh. So I might go like this, but then pull this down. All right, where is it? Maybe right here? I don't know. Something like this? <laughs> yeah. Is that cool? That's cool. Is that cool? 
Now we have cover art. So now if I go like this, it just sort of like goes away. Lucas, you're going to need to exit. And then it just comes back. <clears throat> hey, open the door and go out. You guys are being crazy now. Shut the door behind you. All the way. Jacob, enough. Yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. I've just been really slow to put it in. This was something that I was thinking about the other day. Now there's no empty space there. And I was like, you know, I need to put in the cover art. Oh, shoot. Um, all right. Here we go. We got to get back in the groove now. Oh, I got to kill these guys. I got to like get back in my holy diver groove. I was watching Sean play some of this today. Uh, LCG is fine. She just has a lingering cough. She's still got the cough, dude. Really? You're feeling better. You're just tired. So did you not get enough sleep last night or what? I wanted to stay up and watch. Um, I wanted to stay up and watch Game of Thrones last night, but I was dead tired. Like I really needed to sleep really bad again. And so I decided to not go to stay up and watch. How I wanted to. Um, all right. And so I went to bed and uh, I woke up this morning very thankful that I did so. I almost just bounced right past that dude. They keep bouncing me around like I'm a like I'm Jimbo. All right, we need health. Constantly have to think about what I'm doing here with this. You're more tired than usual. I've been like really tired. I don't know if it's a I'm not quite sure if it's like a an allergies thing, but my I've been sneezing a lot more recently. Oh gosh. I've allowed I've allowed them to come through. So I've been sneezing a lot more and I you know, so I think part of my issue is allergy related. <clears throat> so we're just going to chill out and listen to some tunes tonight and try to beat this. I just got to make sure I stay in the zone here. I still got to make, I, I want Kona to make me like a retro overlay. Oh no, I didn't grab it. Damn it. I'm pissed. I just messed up. <clears throat> so I want to have a full game overlay. And then I want to have a retro overlay. In my uh, retro overlay, I want to have it be somewhat similar to this. I think. But I'm really running out of disk space, dude. The whole issue is like... I need more space. So, Nova, if you put in an extra hard drive, how does your system differentiate between the two you have to basically choose where you're putting things on the on the regular one or on the second one unless you just buy 
a bigger hard drive for your main. <clears throat> and I don't know if I should buy a bigger hard drive for my main. I think, I want to say, I think my PC has, has room for two NVMEs. Yo, Sidewalk Warrior, what's going on, man? Shouldn't store stuff on your main anyways? Really? Why, why do you say that? What's, uh, uh, in, in case, in case it goes down is what you're saying? In case it fails, then you don't lose all your stuff. Is that the, the concern here? Yo, Dean's rule. How you doing, dude? Well, come on in, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to finish this up. Oh. Uh. You need to change install directories. Yeah, that's what I don't want to do. I wish things were just under one. <laughs> How's everything going today with you, Sidewalk Warrior, and, and you, Dean's Roll? How, how are you both doing? So it's going to be Tunes and, and Holy Diver tonight. Run smoother if it doesn't have to go through all your files to access files to run itself. So usually partition or store files on a different directory than OS. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, you, you mean like... Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, what's up, uh, King Pasta Water? How you doing, dude? It's good to see you, man. How are you... How is everything with you, man? How... And what... What are you uh, working on at the moment for your your art? King Pasta Water likes to post some art in the Discord that I have. Um, and uh, has been working on some really cool things recently. Damn it. Oh, I don't like... Nice. <clears throat> so, so what you're saying is basically have your main hard drive, which has basically just your operating system and then have, have a secondary one that you put everything on because then your main one will be able to load faster and, and will just generally be faster and not so sluggish if you don't bog it down with like tons and tons of files, right? Just run smoother. Isolate any potential issues. That's uh that's that's actually good advice. That's good advice. It's usually like I bought a 500 uh what was it 500 gig hard drive when I built this machine um a couple years back, few years back. I bought a 500 gig NVMe uh what was it solid state or whatever? Um whatever it is, it's a little chip. Um and I put that in and I've been using that to store everything. And that's basically like full at this point. <clears throat> so I'm like, damn, I need to get something else. But you bring up a good point about like having everything on that. So I could potentially, right? If I was to get something new, I could then move everything over, right? To the new one and then have the, the, the NVMe be clean and, and, you know, fast and stuff. Uh, let's summon this guy. Fall down, sir. Thank you. So what you, what you, what you want? You finished up your Charmander commission, sent it out so I can share with that with y'all in a few weeks. Yo, sick. I look forward to seeing that, man. Charmander's, Charmander's a really cool, um, design and i'm interested to see how you did it because usually you have a very unique uh kind of look in the way that you you're drawing things which is uh you know definitely cool and unique uh otherwise working on lord helix sick man uh all right i need to do this i need to squash this guy like a bug he's all right he was being a jerk Let's see if we can't get ourselves some health back here. 
we're going to need it. Split and drive is always good practice. Makes backups easier as well. Oh, shoot. This is good advice, man. I didn't really think about it before in that way, I guess, but that makes perfect sense and definitely good, good way to think about it. So thank you so much, Sidewalk Warrior. I appreciate that. And thank you, Dean's Rule, as well. You guys gave me some food for thought, man. But in either case, I gotta get I gotta get a second hard drive, no matter what it is. Um, hopefully, I can just move everything over very simply. Free up my original, maybe. I hope I have enough health to finish this. Is my real concern. I really just hope I have enough health. I missed that one health drop upgrade in uh, stage five. And now I'm like, man, do I really need to like start this over? <clears throat> and I wanted to ask people like Little Mixer, Choke, and others that have finished this if I really need to have that extra health or not. I really want to see Sean finish this, man. I want to see him beat it. I think he's got it in him. I think he can do it. This game's tough as tough as nails, but I think he can do it. All right, we're almost full up. Main piece is done, so I'm just trying to figure out what to do for the background. Nice. You usually have these uh, sort of sparkly, um, sort of like dreamy looking backgrounds almost. Like, they're really neat. Almost have like a glittery effect to them. It's your last cup of sorrow. Uh, come on. I just need what? One more health drop. We got a magneton. Magneton. So did you say you're working through a whole lot of different Pokemon? Or are those just commissions that you did? I thought you were working on like a whole big like portfolio of Pokemon. Come on, dude. I just need one more health. Look at brother. Fucking dumb. You're giving me only magic now. <clears throat> Yo, GG's KBW. If you want to do a pro level setup and be as secure as possible, your extra hard drive that stores files can be mirrored. So you buy two of the same hard drive, mirror them so they have identical files to each. If any issues with one hard drive, you always have a backup important for companies or artists that cannot afford to lose files. That's very true, actually. That's very true. And that's actually, um, like you said, a great way to avoid... Um, that loss, if there's very important things that are on there, which, you know, no matter, no matter kind of what, even if you're not doing anything like important as like a company or even an artist or anything like that, all the stuff you have is like very important <laughs> pretty much. Uh, all right. So here was in this next room oh yeah these guys <clears throat> no files on the operating system hard drive so any virus or corruption just won't affect that's actually a really interesting point too is um avoiding when you download things avoiding having it right on your hard drive that your operating system is on. So then you avoid, hopefully, any issues like that with uh, viruses and stuff. Okay, okay. Oh, geez, I got greedy. I got greedy. He's gonna fall down. I gotta, I gotta just do my normal strats here. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> lost thousands of song files multiple times my good friend is the head of security 
at all of Dick's sporting goods. Have some good experience with computer issues. Wow, Sidewalk Warrior. What the freaking hell? Dude, Mixer. Yo, what's up, dude? How you doing, man? Hey, what's going on, everybody? Mixer, thank you so much for the raid, man. What's going on? Mixer raid. What's up, Thunderfoot bros? Good to see you, man. Welcome on in. What's up, Gresco? Good to see you, friend. How you doing, dude? Lord Pookums, good to see you. What's going on? What's up, Breeze and Sky? Welcome on in. What's up, Retro Gaming Backlog? Good to see you, dude. Holy Diver, let's go. Mixer, thank you so much for the raid, man. What the hell? Uh, Nova, thank you so much for the shout out. Dude, I'm trying, bro. I'm trying to get this done. I'm trying, Mixer. I'm trying my best. Please, Mixer, help me. I'm trying. Oh, thank you so much for all the follows. Thank you, uh, Thunderfoot Bros, uh, Queen, Breeze and Sky, Meows. Thank you thank you all so much. What the hell? Um, yo, what's up, Nico Mancer? Good to see you as well. Thank you so much, everybody. Uh, dude, Mixer, I, I have an honest question. I have a really honest question, dude. Can I do this with the health that I have? So I'm missing one health upgrade. Can I do this? Is this doable? Is what I really want to know. Uh, thank you so much, Beardman Pro, for the follow. I appreciate it. Yo, thank you, Thunderfoot Bros. Yo. Uh, yeah, I've put kind of a bit of time and um, an effort into what I do here. Just, uh, But yeah, there's, there's always room for improvement. So you absolutely can. I did a 1cc run with three health boxes. You freaking legend, dude. Holy crap. You're good to go. Oh my gosh. I can't believe you did this with three health boxes. You, you're wild. You're wild, dude. That's absolutely bonkers. Holy crap. Breeze and Sky, congrats on being not first. Yo, Jax, good to see you, dude. What's going on, buddy? Jax, friend, it's, uh, it's lovely to see you, man. How's everything going with you, dude? More like, holy crap, this is tough. That's what I'm saying, Thunderfoot bros. Yeah, thank you so much, Lexi. You you hit you hit up the lights back there. You hit up the lights. I appreciate it. I got my lights back there. They're a little tough to see when the, the cam's up in the corner, but the lights are going back there. Thank you so much for that follow, Malty. Appreciate it. Dude, we're going to do this tonight. I just have a feeling tonight's the night. Glad to hear you're doing well, Jax. Glad to hear that, man. Thank you so much again, Mixer, and welcome on in, everybody. My name is Caffeine Daydream. Uh, I do a lot of retro and indie gaming. Um, Monday, Wednesday, Fridays, I'm on. I'd like to have a good time and just chill and have some fun, and uh, we're doing this game tonight, but I have a big, long list of games, but uh, because the music in this is kind of crappy, I'm just listening to a, a playlist of songs that I've got, and uh, as we make our way through this level multiple times. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Jax, thank you so much for the 100 bits, man, for chilling this. I appreciate that a lot, dude. Seriously, thank you so much, Jax. Holy crap. Um, because the music in this particular level is not that great, some of the other levels have some better music. We're just listening to like a chill playlist that I have. Um, and like for 40,000 channel points, you can add a song to my playlist. But I've just got a lot of chill, cool things going on in the playlist. And like uh, I decided to listen to that instead. Gresco, thank you so much for the Zoom. The music in this part is is part of the experience. It's maddening. It, it is. I actually like some of the music in the beginning of the game, but this particular stage is not that catchy of music, unfortunately. It's not that great. <clears throat> but I agree that the music does set the mood a bit. But um, yeah, it just got really repetitive because I kept dying a ton on Wednesday, and I was like, you know what? Let's listen to some better tunes. Tetsuo, what's going on, dude? Good to see you, fam. Hope you're doing well, bud. Uh, you you ended stream really like quick today, and I was like, what the hell? Like what? Like I didn't really find out what happened, and I I didn't message you or anything. <clears throat> uh, how long have I been on this one? I started. I think this is my fifth stream. I think this is my fifth stream. Um, I started last week, I believe. I've got all of my prior VODs up on YouTube. And if I'm quite sure, this should be part five. Yo, what's up, Beardman Pro? Yeah, this game is hard. This game is not an easy game. 
but we i managed my first stream i managed to get through like three levels three or four four i think three levels i think i got to the third level the third level took me a stream to get to the fourth level and then it's like everything from the third level on basically like took me a stream to get through so yeah i think i'm only about uh this is my fifth stream in i believe sidewalk warrior yep so i've made good progress like i'm not dissatisfied at all with my progress oh gosh please don't teleport wait i died crap <clears throat> Yeah, if I beat it in five streams, I'll be satisfied. Thunderful Bros, for sure. I will be satisfied because this is, this is not easy. I shouldn't have died right here, but it is what it is. Come on, go down. Nice. Stage four was the worst for you. It definitely gave me, yeah, a big hard time. That last boss took me a while, especially. Once I learned how to get through the stage, the stage was easy, but the boss was really tough. But man, I seen you take it, take him down with a pea shooter. Holy crap. Your son had an accident at school, so I had to take care of that. Oh, so I'm sorry, man. That happens, right? He's still learning, so it's okay. He'll, he'll be all right, man. But uh, good on you for, for doing your dad duties. Playing the bangers. That's what's up, Lexi. I play the bangers. Um, I try to have a decent playlist. It's got kind of a mi good mixture of like everything, um, from like nineties stuff to two thousands, kind of spanning all genres and different, uh, different, uh, tastes for everybody. You finished sky blazer day. Yo, sick man. GG beard, man. Hell yeah. What, what else we got here? Yeah, Skyblazer looks cool. I was watching Prax play that. I was watching Prax play Skyblazer. It looks pretty neat. These faces at the end of this level with the RNG green blobs come... Yes, those are freaking dumb, stupid. I hate those blobs. The faces are like... Okay, because you can learn certain strats for them, but the, the blob is just... The blob's bad. I don't like the blob at all. Took you three days... It's like, looks like it presents a, a pretty decent challenge to it. Oh gosh, I accidentally turned around. All right, let's do that. No, don't teleport. Don't teleport. Okay, I hate when these guys teleport. All right, cool. And, and we got the health drop mixer. And we got the health drop. The booger. Yeah. The freaking flying booger. I hate that. All right. We go down here. Then we're going to switch the blizzard. This spider looking like he's going to troll me. Uh-oh. All right. Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's get that. All right, I got to be careful. Yeah, there's that spider. Oh, no. Okay, we're okay. This is okay. We're good. <clears throat> that thing will destroy the most perfect of runs before you can react. All 100% RG. It is, though. Especially if you're going for deathless. Dude, getting all the way here for those people that have done deathless runs and then having to deal with that blob. I feel for them, man. I really do feel for them. That's horrible. Oh, shoot. Left side. I forgot. Left side and then right side. All right. Now right side. Oh, no. They're coming for me. All right. I like to use this spot as a little farming area. If you need to, like, grab some... Either some magic or some hearts. This is a nice little area to grab. Yo, Tetsuo, thank you, man. <clears throat> thank you again, Tetsuo. I appreciate it, dude. Mixer is really cool. 
Um, if you are into retro gaming and um, and and anything of that like, he's been playing like a lot of different things, man. He was doing Predator um, the other day, which was so weirdly jank. You don't even start with a gun. Like, it's so odd. You don't even like, you have to like find a gun, even though it looks like he's running around with a gun under, under his arm. It's like, and then there's like a million different levels. Like, he's like, Stage 24? What the hell? <laughs> I said I was waiting for stage 69. And then it's like, Dylan, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Yo, of course, Thunderfoot Bros. Yeah. We're 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 a chill community that uh, you know, likes to enjoy ourselves, have some fun, and uh definitely, you know, make it a, a warm welcome. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I, it's not like you can go around being like, dude, <laughs> come check out my stream when you're over at Sean or over at Mixer or over at like any of these people. Like, it's, uh, nobody really knows, you know? Yo, what's up, little cute girl? How you doing? <laughs> it's been a couple, couple streams. I think this is like second one or something. But yeah, like I hang around like in so many different like retro communities and stuff. Like, you'll see me all, all over the place. <clears throat> also don't worry about my bots my bots some of them uh will say different things to you Ca that's caffeine bot that's that's my bot that uh it reacts so i use a bot called streamer bot and it will i have it set up to react to messages in chat so if you post something uh, it could react to you so in this case tetsuo was doing the uh, Pokemon game, but it didn't matter. It, it saw his message and reacted to it randomly. And all that is, is a quote from, uh, Billy Madison. If I remember correctly, the movie Billy Madison with, uh, Adam Sandler. And so it's, it's just a, it's just a joke. All right. We beat one. Yeah, sometimes it'll give you a nice affirming message. It'll tell you like, you know, can we get some hype for this comment? Or like, you know, I'm glad to have you here or something like that. Or spread some love and positivity. And then other times there's a couple of um, like kind of trolly messages that I put in there just for the hell of it. A Niv is another bot that I have. I don't know if you've seen it around like JC's channel or uh, in Andy Inde, his channel or something like that. It is a Billy Madison quote. Yep. Got in a fight with this Brit bot the other. For <laughs> yeah, that's right. The, the, it was the same bot, caffeine bot, but there's a message that says, Oi, bruv. And it's got the British, uh, emote. <laughs> and he was like, he's like, what the hell is that? <laughs> yeah, man, I've got, I've got a couple of cool, like kind of trolly things that with my bots. And then I've got some cool, like effects, some cool channel points, this and that. So yeah, it, when you, you, you know, when you make your stay here, you've got some cool things to kind of mess around with. We've got the Pokemon game that's like down underneath. Um, you can see the Pokemon, uh, you should see Ash kind of walking and you can use channel points to redeem some Pokemon and different things and you can challenge other people. It's pretty cool. Yeah, Thunderfoot Bros, yeah. He gets kind of wild. Caffeine Bot gets wild. Uh, let's see. So we need, we don't need Blizzard. Just yet. All right. Usually I use, usually I use twin fire here. Okay. 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 <clears throat> you going to go to sleep. It's 1230 here in the Netherlands. See you soon. No worries, beard man. Thank you so much, dude. I appreciate you coming through. Thank you again for the follow. Um, I extremely appreciate that. And I, yeah, I hope to see you back again, man. I understand. Um, uh, feel, uh, have a good rest and, uh, enjoy your weekend. Oh, okay. Okay. Get out of here, blob. Get out of here. All right. We're going to need blizzard. Oh gosh. Wait, no, we're going to need breaker. Oh gosh. All right, this one's a little. Okay, got it. <clears throat> yeah, 
You walk in on the bottom. Oh my gosh. Okay. Do this. Oh. Oh no. Okay. All right. Now there's two blobs. Okay. We're we're in two two blob city here. Yeah, take it easy, beard man. Oh. Oh god. Oh god. All right. We died. Uh I I like not always. I kind of like to I kind of like to um like change it up a little bit. Sometimes I'll play something hard, sometimes I'll play something easy so I don't tear my hair out and and uh you know, wish <laughs> wish death upon myself. Uh, I, I don't mind playing something tough like this, but at the same time, I like to balance it, you know? This was a challenge. I took this on as kind of a personal challenge. Um, damn, this blob just screwed me. Awesome. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I took this on as kind of a personal challenge. I knew several other people had done it. You know, say like Mixer and um, and Cholk and like, you know, Grunt Guru and just like, uh, I think Goten had done it and just like a bunch of people. So um, I really wanted to do this as a personal challenge to myself. And Gresco was also taking it on at the same time. And so I was like, all right, let's do this then. And I think Gresco, I think Gresco bless his heart. I think he's, I think he's uh, give it, given up on it. But I made my way all the way here, and I'm like, you know, I think I'm gonna see this through. <clears throat> yeah, it earned your stripes exactly. That's that's basically how I was thinking of it. Was I really need to do this just uh, to say I've done it? Come on. What is going on here? Why aren't you hitting? I just wasted a whole bunch more magic than I really wanted to. Yeah, it's a rite of passage. That's exactly why I did it too. Was it being a rite of passage? I was like, you know, I got to do this at least once. You know, maybe I won't be like Mixer and do it. All these different challenge runs and stuff. I got to hand him, hand it to him for doing it, but wow. All right, blob, get out of here. Oh no, I hate myself. Okay. <clears throat> that didn't work. Yes, this, this thing, this hallway is big anxiety. This is my current Everest besides the final boss. I was able to make it on the next, the next, uh, part of the stage. Like once you pass this, this part, the the climb i was able to do the climb in one shot this game looks really cool but i was confused just watching i couldn't imagine figure out how to utilize all those magic skills and dealing with the difficulty sidewalk warrior this it takes a lot of repetition a lot of repetition you learn all the rooms very intimately you but you eventually get it is the thing you eventually get it and once you get it it feels so good couldn't keep coming to streams and saying, I'll eventually get to it. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't planning on doing this so early. I was going to, I was going to, um, hold off for a while, but I don't know. I just, crap. I just, um, threw it in rotation. I said, let's do this. Let's do it. I'm glad I did because it looks like I'm finally going to finish it at some point uh, very soon. <clears throat> Yo, LCG, thank you so much for your contribution to the Soul Blazer first playthrough challenge. I appreciate that a lot. No challenge for me. I didn't like this game enough to do that nonsense. Yeah, I agree. I'm right there with you, man. More likely, you guys could totally do challenge with this too. Oh my gosh. 200% challenge win, Mixer. 
<laughs> Maybe one day Mixer will I'm more likely to do the run than you're going to do anything on this. Yeah. Dude, an AVGN emo is is absolutely great. Love it. A lot of people have that low key doubt that you can handle this game. So I had to just say, yeah, that's the thing is uh, I think a lot of people are just intimidated by it. They're like, holy crap, holy diver. No, please. No. And, uh, I was sort of the same way. And once I started it, I was like the first level is very, it lures you in. You're like, oh, this isn't so bad. And then by the time you get to the third level, you're just like, oh no. What are the gen two fossils? Anorith and Cray Dilly? I don't really know. KPW. Oh, butt spot. Gotcha. Why is butt spot all of a sudden going nuts? What the hell? Butt spot. What are you on about? All right. Um, breaker, right? All right, so it takes three shots. If I do it right, it should take me three shots. No, wrong way, dummy. Blizzard. All right. All right, this is the one that always gives me the hardest time is this guy. Damn it. This guy gives me the worst time. No. Oh. My input got eaten. Damn. It's that last one. I can get through all of them except that last one gives me the, the hardest, the hardest time. You mother. Oh no, blob came out of nowhere. All right. Yeah, the two blobs is 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 just too much. The two blobs is like I don't understand why that happens. Yo, thank you Thunderfoot. I appreciate it, man. I'm trying. I just got to learn a good strat for for that last one. I'm pretty good with all the rest of them. Oh no, I got freaking messed up by the stupid snot, the flying snot, you son of a. Yeah, the flying snot got me. What are you going to do? Okay, well, jump. All right. <clears throat> this is the room that's going to keep me, keep me holding me back. This room in particular is the one. Then I have to learn a good strat for the boss. I've only seen the boss one time. Yeah, two blobs. The two blobs is too much, man. The face is hard enough, and then you get the two blobs, and it's like, really? I don't think you can hit from here. Yeah, you can't. Come on, dude. Get out of here. Oh, no. I don't know why sometimes it takes three. Sometimes it takes four. And then the blob just comes out of nowhere and it's like, <laughs> yo, what's up, DJ? Yeah, we're having a party, dude. Welcome on in. Did you bring the uh, the pizzas or what? Oh, no. <clears throat> I'm doing well, buddy. It's good to see you, man. How's uh how was your day? Oh gosh. Yeah, man, you bring the pizzas? What the hell? You ate them, you Did you get the munchies? Oh no. Oh no. Get out of here. Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. I, I didn't really get knocked back on that one. That one was really shaky. Hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> Do rise up and meet me. Okay. Oh, thank you, Sidewalk Warrior. Yeah, I've got a pretty good uh, DSLR camera for my for my setup, and then this is a SM7B, which is also uh, really good quality as well. Yeah, I'm I'm very happy with the the setup overall. Oh, two blobs, get out of here! Oh, I. Damn. I got to think of a good way to deal with that last face. I really do. <clears throat> there has to be a better way to do that. Okay, let's start here. Oh, gosh. Come on. I'm getting knocked around. <clears throat> Good day. Got paid to sit on a field on a lovely day. Played b ball. That's the life. Who's knocking? Let him in. You caused me to say the word again, dude. What the hell? I sometimes wonder if I should change my my mic a little bit. Like the, um, <clears throat> just the way it sounds like, I'm going to go to dinner, going to leave myself lurking. I'll catch you later if you're still on. Yo, thank you so much, Mixer. Appreciate it, man. Enjoy your dinner, dude. Enjoy your dinner. I don't know what you're having, but whatever it is, enjoy the freaking hell out of it, man. It's a Friday night. Have some fun. And, uh. Thanks so much again for the raid, dude. Appreciate it a lot, man. I'm sure I'll still be on several hours from now. Uh, but uh, thanks so much, dude. Enjoy yourself. Have a great rest of your night, man. Hope to see you back later. Thank you, DJ. Uh, let's see. Th thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I got to check out... All the peeps that come through, like... If they've got channels themselves, like, like Thunderfoot Bros was saying, kind of like, he's like, man, I seen you around. I didn't even really know you streamed. And it's like, there's a lot of that that goes around, you know? It's like, and I'm sure there's other people that like, I don't really know that, that stream and stuff. So who, who wants a shout out? Who wants a shout out? Uh, shoot. I need to get health back here. I always use this part as a, as a health refill, basically. Like a lot of people in the retro community do a lot of different shout outs. Dude, you didn't know I streamed LCG? Hell yeah. I stream, I stream, you know, a little bit. <clears throat> Thank you, DJ. LCG streams from the comfort of her kitchen. Nova Charter streams from the SS Picard. Or... The Millennium Falcon or something like that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Nova streams from the Millennium Falcon. Oh, no. I missed one. Frick. That's annoying. Thank you, DJ.
This is a freaking jam right here. Who knows KRS one? Does Tetsuo stream? Of course, Tetsuo streams. He's been doing a lot of blood speed runs. You don't stop KRS one rock corn. <clears throat> you just got food yourself? Hell yeah, man. What'd you get, Thunderfoot? All right, we have full health now. Oh, frick. No, that's... All right, this is okay. <clears throat> What's everybody snacking on? All right, see ya. I'm number one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. We're going to need overdrive here. Nice. Adventure Island 2, hell yeah. That's some, that's some peak jank right there. Thank you, DJ. I got to play the Adventure Island games. Pringles, brownie crisps, and gouda and turkey pinwheels. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, okay. You got the snack and platter right now. <laughs> I notoriously dislike them. So naturally, I've been playing them a lot. <laughs> I really like Super Adventure Island 2. Uh, it's got kind of like some RPG-ish elements to it. I really enjoyed that one uh, growing up. Damn you. I need to play uh, Wings of V, though. Watching G play it has really kind of got me interested in it. But man, that last boss is something else. You like that one a lot as well. It, it It's a fun game. I enjoyed it. Like when I was growing up playing it, I thought it was really good. Yeah, Wings of V. Yeah, you know. You should know, DJ, right? Solgren made it, you know. I do have Boshi, though. I have to play Boshi at some point. Brave or stupid? Kind of both. Kind of both, right? A little, 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 little bit of both. A little, little bit of both, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Salmon sushi, except it's cream cheese instead of rice. I can't do the cream cheese, man. Like, I don't like... They call that a Philadelphia roll, where they put the cream cheese in with the sushi. I'm not a fan, dude, but I'm not a fan of... um, I'm not a fan of uh, cream cheese itself, so... Yeah, of course, you know Solgren's, uh, Solgren's good around these parts. I just don't think Solgren knows about me, so... He hangs out with, like, Chulk and Andy and, like, maybe Grunt as well, like... I know he's in that whole crew, but he don't know about me. I mentioned that I want to play it at some point, but and also I mentioned that his emo is Azarel. He has an Azarel emo, and I was like, I was like, wait, isn't that Azarel? Because I was watching G play it, and then I saw it, and I was like, I was like, that's Azarel, and he's like, yep. And I was like, oh shoot. I don't know if he watches Mixer. I'm not quite sure. I I know I've only seen him around like. In the Chulk, Andy, like, you know, grunt, like, kind of circle. I do like cheesecake. Yep. No matter how many tries in progress I made, I couldn't seem to beat it. For for which one, Thunderfoot? You said you played that one first as a kid, so I bought the first one and I used to rage hard. Which, which one in particular, Thunderfoot? Are we talking about the Adventure Island games? All right. Oh, uh, oh, get out of here. Get out of here, you freaking jerks. Damn, come on. 
You eat cream cheese with a spoon? Okay. I mean, I just, it, I've never been a fan, man. Never been my thing. Cream cheese is goaded. You guys like it on bagels? I don't even eat it on bagels, man. I used to be hella weird and just eat like a bagel with butter when I was growing up. <clears throat> you lap it up. Cream cheese is in cheesecake? Well, I like cheesecake, okay? But I don't like normal cream cheese by itself. I had dark chocolate cheesecake the other day. It was so, mm, that sounds really good. You put cream cheese on a lot of stuff? I mean, I'm not knocking nobody for liking cream cheese. Like, it's just never been my thing, you know? I know a lot of people really do like cream cheese. Ew, bagels. We do scones over here, bro. Adventure Island, I played Super Adventure Island 2 first. <clears throat> Loved it. So I bought the first NES game thinking it'd be similar and I was dead wrong. Yeah. Yeah, that's a big uh that's a big discovery to make. Cause even the Super Adventure Island one is also like uh a much easier game than the first Adventure Island NES game. So yeah, you're in for a rude awakening if you think they're gonna be similar. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Take him out. Oh, gosh. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right. All right. Keep it going. You Use it for stuffed jalapenos. Hey, stuffed jalapenos are legit, though. All right. Should be right here. All right, we got him, and we got the health drop. Mixer said this health drop doesn't always appear, so I've been lucky enough to have it appear for me. I'm thankful about that. Okay. We need Blizzard down here. Scones are far superior to bagels. Hey, man, scones are good, too. I don't, I, to be honest, I'm not even, like, a huge bagel fan either. Grab your bowl sack. Punk. Uh, this looks sketchy. All right, I can kill that guy. Okay, this looks... This looks okay. Nice. <clears throat> Where's Jen at? We need overdrive. All right, now we got some music going. Now we got some tunes rolling. Uh, shoot. I need to do another one. All right, die. Thank you. Yeah, Jen. She's probably home picking up her kid. It's true. She probably is. Uh, we have full health. But we could use... I need to use some more magic, but probably going to die down here anyway. I've got six, six, six lives to be able to try this out. Give me this. Yeah, Nin, baby. <clears throat> all the pigs are all lined up. Now, doesn't it make you feel better? Um, all right, Breaker. I think we'll go for it. Oh. <laughs> I tried to do like... I tried to do like a one frame turnaround and I ended up doing like a freaking five frame turnaround or something. Okay. Oh. oh no. Oh no. Blob. 
Okay, why is this taking so much? Why aren't you dying? Took like five damn freaking... That took a lot of magic to beat. Stop it, it's already dead. Get away from me, sir. Kindly. That's the one thing about this stage, man. I said it before, I'll say it again. They actually give you like a bunch of one-ups. Okay. Oh no. Blizzard. Nice. See. Staying up here just like doesn't work that well. Especially when this guy comes and hits you off. You could use twin fire if you jump and maneuver it, but the gr the green's not there. <clears throat> Come on, dude, get out of here. Oh, get out of here, dude. Thank you. All right. Because I, I do use a combination of like... He's just being a freaking troll now. Ooh, juking. Does the blue attack ignore the ground? The blue attack? You mean breaker? Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. Go. Oh, no. Hmm. Thank you, Thunderfoot. Thank you, man. I'm trying to do it without any help, but it's it's good to know that there is a more consistent strat, I guess. That gives me hope, you know? Because that's the only thing in this game that gives me hope is the fact that there are legit strats for this stuff. There are ways to make it through this game with three three health, you know, with like deathless. Like people can do this stuff. There are legit strats. That's the best feeling. Oh. Okay. Change the blizzard. Oh, come on. All right, we got it. <clears throat> Shiny Z party. Yeah, they're pros. Oh, okay, okay, DJ, okay. I see what you're saying. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Damn you. Damn you. I will learn. Oh, come on. Who are these freaking jerk offs? Yeah, let's just, yeah. We're at the mercy of, of two blobs now. Two snots. 
<clears throat> I, hey man, I did figure out quite a number of this, of this stuff by myself. No, I'm going to get hit right there. Dude, come on. If it's not the stupid bullets, then it's the blobs. Nice jump. That was a good jump. Dude. Oh. Okay. Damn it. I knew it was right there. No. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. I start with full. It only would have been helpful. At the beginning. Oh, no. No. Stop. Damn it. Damn it. <clears throat> I, these jumps are dumb. I've been able to do these jumps before, but they're not the easiest. Nice, dude. He freaking... No, it, it's not. It's just they, they make these jumps purposefully very, very tough, you know? They're right underneath each other. So it's awesome. Whatever. We're starting over. <clears throat> All right. I have a better strat now, sort of, for getting that last face. It's okay. We go again. Come on. Come on. Dude, the stupid guys coming down from the top are, like, the most annoying. Yeah, it's the final boss at the top of that climb. Yep. I've made it one time. <clears throat> but we will make it again. Misspelling, DJ. All right, just keep going. Just keep going. Just keep going, man. Big pimpin'. Big pimpin' up in NYC. Dude, it... Do you like radishes, man? I'm a radish fan. I eat them. I never ate them before I got married, though. Once I got married, my wife would cut them up. And that's when I sort of discovered them. They're spicy little bitches. Let's go, Lexi. Let's go, Lexi. All right, we need just a little bit more energy. <clears throat> you do like them? I love, dude, I love that freaking emote, Lexi. I've seen you throw that around a bit, and I just, I kind of die each time I see it. DJ, thank you so much for having a thick freaking booty and hosting the stream, dude. I appreciate you, man. LCG, enjoy your lurk, sweetie.
Yeah, that one gets me every time, man. Yo, Thunder for Bros, thank you so much for having a thick old booty and hosting the stream, man. I appreciate you, dude. Yo, we got a lot of thick booties in the chat tonight. <clears throat> Yo, Tracker! Jacker, thank you so much for the 100 bits, dude. Happy Friday to you as well, man. Home chowder, let's go. Hope you're doing well, dude. Welcome on in, man. Uh, let's see. We need overdrive. Overdrive. Oh, uh, no, we don't. We know we don't. I lied. We throw this guy off. <laughs> I forgot. Yo, Tetsuo, thank you so much for having a thick old friggin' booty and hosting the stream, man. Appreciate you, dude. This is just a... A stacked chat right now. Absolute stacked chat. All right. He's just going to keep plowing right into me. All right. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're good. This is good. We just need to get our health back now. Okay. Nice. We like it. We like it. <clears throat> thank you everybody for all the uh for all the host support i appreciate y'all so much man that helps out with the the algorithm you know on twitch all that discoverability this this is a tough platform to get discovered on man so i appreciate y'all freaking so heckin much for helping out dude damn i love this new mastodon the weird algorithm yep it helps. Every little bit helps, man. Excuse the madness. Big fan of this new Mastodon. I'm surprised Set isn't around lurking or something. Usually Set's here. I wonder what he's up to. Come on, give me some health. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, we need a few more. I can't, I just, the challenge runs of this. Oh my gosh. It, honestly, I need to watch the AVGN video on this, on this game. And then I need to watch like some actual strats for getting through these levels. I am so intrigued by how people make it through these levels on very minimal health absolutely intrigued what are the strats that people are using to get through these because there's certain enemies that i just sort of like spray and pray in this game oh gosh But then there's other enemies where I really do involve like a, a certain strat to get around them in some some way or another. So I'm I'm curious. Yeah, spray and pray. <laughs> Come on, drop some health. Drop some health. Thank you. Yo, blue, what's going on, dude? Welcome on in, friend. How are you doing, buddy? I hope you're doing well today, man. Happy Friday to you, dude. It's always a pleasure to see you. Yo, Kektuar, what's up, dude? How are you doing, man? It's good to see you, dude. You've been putting out some, uh, some good YouTube content, man. Oh, I missed that health. Carowin! Carowin, thank you so much. What the hell? Carowin, thank you so much for the, uh, the the tier one resub. 15 month club. Let's go. What's going on with you, Carowin? Welcome on in. I hope you are having a great Friday. Hope you and uh, Ellie J are both doing well. Oh, my eyes. My eyes. Thank you so much for the hype train. As you can see, the uh, the, 
the the train lights were bearing down on me. Holy sugar. 12 minutes left of work. Let me go back and read. I got blinded by the light. Blue, thank you so much for the 100 bits. Carwin, thank you again for the resub. It's so freaking good to have you here. <clears throat> I'm doing great, thanks. How are you? I'm doing wonderful, friend. Thank you so much, man, for asking. I'm doing wonderful, friend. It's great to see you here, dude. Uh, let me see. Kektuar, 12 minutes left of work. Ready to be back in the comfort of my home. Yo, th that's awesome, man. GG's, dude. Finish strong, man. Yeah, the weekend is here upon us, friends. Let's have some fun. I've been well, dude. I've been well. It's uh, it's wonderful to see you, dude. And uh, like I said, your your YouTube content seems to be uh, blowing up, man. Um, you or like the quality and everything that I've seen is like really good of your YouTube videos. Yeah, that is such a good feeling tracker. I agree, man. Getting that work done that that uh, weekend's right there waiting for you. What's up, Dumpy Humper? What's up, Belly J? Thank you so much for the bitch. What the hell, friend? Blue, thank you so much for the, having a thick old booty and hosting the stream. I appreciate you, dude. You're working right now. That's usually what I do, Thunder. Uh, it's usually me. Like, during the during the day when, like, all my, like, other streamer friends are on and stuff, like, I'm working, chilling, hanging out. Moving sucks. Yeah. Ellie, how is everything going with the move? You're exhausted. Honestly, moving is not for the week. It sure isn't, Carolyn. Sure isn't. It sucks. And I, I hope you guys are like getting through it all right. I know Ellie said that um, you're both uh, have pretty much everything set to a point where now you just need to wait and get everything moved in and then, you know, get everything sorted for the most part. So, you know, much love to the both of you while you're you're going through this. And, uh, you know, you guys will be better afterwards. <clears throat> then you can get the uh, the pinball machine set up and get back to, you know, normalcy. Never easy with a move. <clears throat> You're having fun with it. It's nice to spend time with people on Twitch again, though. Trying to find time to watch it. Yo, yeah, I understand, man. I see you putting some good quality in your your uh, your YouTube content, man. I um, like it looked good. Like the way that you present yourself, like looked really good, man. And um, I thought it was really cool seeing you like perform on the YouTube videos the way that you have been. It's like wow. It, uh, it definitely looks like good quality and it looks like you're really presenting yourself well. <clears throat> Yo, Sidewalk Warrior, she has LEJ uh, and and Carwin have two of them. They have a Rush pinball machine that they just purchased recently and they also have a uh, Terminator one. Hello, I have been lurking on Twitch all day while I was at work and a raid led into a raid and now I'm here. Good luck with Holy Diver. Thank you so much, Nintendo Ghost. I appreciate it, man. Or Nintendo Ghost. Sorry, not to... There's no D in there, but thank you so much, man. I appreciate that uh, that that message. Um, I hope work went well for you today. Uh, thanks for following along with the raids and uh, ended up here. Thank you so much for the follow as well. appreciate it. It's good to have you here. Um, I hope work went well for you. And now, uh, hopefully, the weekend's... Hopefully the weekend's uh, upon you and you can just chill. Oh gosh. Thank you so much for the good luck as well because this game is horrible. Ho horribly hard. Oh no. Oh no, it didn't jump. It didn't jump. Oh no, it didn't jump. All right, just just walk straight. Just, oh no, no, no. Oh, oh gosh, this is not good. This is... Okay. <clears throat> oh gosh. This All right, I'm getting trolled now by these spiders. Soil work has releases some great great material. I don't know if anybody here is um fans of soil work or has heard soil work, but they're really really good. Thank you again Nintendo Ghost. Um thank you all for the hype trade, man. You guys are Freaking awesome. Rush is here, but Ellie forgot the power cables and the balls. So tomorrow we'll be able to play it again. I just care about getting kitchen clothes and bath set up. Re re set up really. Yeah, of course. Yeah, just the, the necessities, right? After that, we can just do a long and a long. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You just want to get everything up and going. Thank you guys so much for the hype train. What the hell? I appreciate it so heckin' much. Something happened to where you put the D. <laughs> Where's the D? <laughs> 
Uh, I have about three weeks till I can put the D back in. It was a typo. Oh, no. <laughs> I just saw that. Oh, my gosh. Well, I hope nobody steals it on you, Nintendo Ghost. I hope nobody steals it on you, man. Hopefully, you can get the D bag in. Ice Nine Kills. Why does that sound so familiar? Ice Nine Kills sounds very familiar. Put the D back in. <laughs> I can't, I can't like say it without laughing. Lexi, I see Lexi's lols and I'm just like, <laughs> another three weeks and I can put the D back in. Oh uh, yeah, I'm, I'm married. So I know how that goes. Ice Nine Kills sounds so familiar. What style of music is that? Put it back in. <laughs> they do horror-based death metal? Oh, for real? Yo, now I gotta like check that out. Somebody put like a reminder in the in the Discord or something for me so I don't forget, please. Holy diver, you've been lost too long in the midnight sea. Oh, what's becoming of me? Yo, Rage, what's up, dude? It's good to see you, man. How you how you been, buddy? Um, weren't you weren't you doing a uh, Ocarina of Time rando the other day? Which was like, I was like, what the hell? Like it was really out of character for you, and I was like. Why is he doing an Ocarina of Time rando? Like, it was very, like, out of the blue. Oh, shoot. That's okay. There's no way I was going to survive that anyway. <clears throat> Do you really love uh, Ocarina of Time? No crap, really? I didn't know you were, like, huge in the Ocarina of Time. I'm so used to seeing you do freaking Metroid Fusion and stuff and Age of Empires. They do nods to horror movies with their songs. Dude, I love that. There's there's this there's this group um that I I've listened to a lot of called um uh shoot, what's their name? Damn it, he's pushing me back far. Um why can't I think of it? Mortician. Mortician is uh is an old school New York death metal band that does uh a lot of horror themed stuff. Um and it's based off of horror movies because I'm a, like a big horror movie fan. Uh especially like old school Italian horror and stuff. <clears throat> um so yeah, um that's really cool. Ice Nine Kills sounds really neat. Thunderfoot Bros, I don't know if you hopped into Discord, but if you did, like throw something in in the music channel like to remind me to check that out. I'll definitely check that out. That sounds right up my alley, honestly. For sure, man. I Because I haven't heard them. The command didn't respond. Yeah, it did. So I... It's like right underneath. There's an announcement right there. Do you not see that? Should see it. There's an announcement. Do people not see that? Yeah, I love zombie. Yeah, old school. Oh, you're on mobile? Wait, mobile can't see announcements? Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. I changed all my all my like things to announcements. And if people on mobile can't see them, then that's really bad. I might have to switch those back. So that's my link tree. And this is, yeah, that's the link tree where you'll find the, the link to my Discord. That's really bad if you can't. It's my second favorite game after StarCraft. Is it really? Rage, I'm learning a bit about you. Over Fusion and Age of Empires. No crap. So StarCraft is your favorite and then Ocarina of Time. 
I'm learning about you, Rage. I didn't know that. Yeah, uh, Nintendo's. I love Fulci. I love um, Dario Argento and like all the old school like Italian um, horror directors and stuff. I love Zombie um, and like uh, what the hell else is there? Um, uh, House by the Cemetery, you know. Uh, the Beyond, like all those movies, uh, Suspiria, like all that stuff. That's like all that, all that old school horror is like my favorite. Yeah, if that's true, that's awful, man. I agree. I might have to switch all my commands back out of announcements. I didn't know that mobile people can't see, uh, people on mobile can't see those. Wow. You can see announcements on mobile? Linktree got your OnlyFans on that, Jace. What the frick, dude? No, I don't have my OnlyFans on it. I just have links to my Discord, uh, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. I don't know what else is on there. <laughs> you see the announcement on iOS? Uh, the link works for me. I'm on Windows. Dude, all right. I'm just curious now if there's a reason why Thunderfoot, Thunderfoot couldn't see it. <clears throat> Is your app like updated, Thunderfoot? I'm curious. I beat Ocarina of Time as a kid with no guides. Took me like three years. No crap, really? I beat it last year, if I remember correctly. Nice. I see myself. I myself am a fan of the old horror uh, Hammer films with Peter Cushion and Christopher Lee. Yeah, the old Hammer films. I haven't watched a lot of the old school Hammer films, but I'm like, yeah, a big fan of um, a lot of horror in general. But uh, I do particularly like um, old school Italian horror. I like the Godfather of Gore, uh, Herschel Gordon Lewis, uh, a lot of American stuff, a lot of Italian stuff just in general. I've seen a lot of different things and um, I do enjoy all that stuff. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, okay, I lived, I lived, this is okay. Yo, Dark, what's going on, dude? How you doing, friend? <clears throat> it's good to have you here, man. Welcome on in. Uh, one sec, I'll check my tablet. I do not see it on the Android app. So it's it isn't an Android thing. Thunderfoot, are you using Android? Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that a lot. Valo, thank you so much. Kef has seen things. I have seen things. I've seen a, a right many things. Many, many movies have I seen. Me and my friend went looking for... Um, a lot of horror movies back in the day. We would just smoke up and watch like tons of horror movies. And he had a very extensive collection. You're on Android and you don't see it. So maybe it's an Android thing. It's an ant. Okay, that got a that confirms it. There's three Android saying they don't see it. <clears throat> it's got to be an Android thing. Dark, enjoy playing FF6, man. I know you're beefing up your party in FF6, dude. All the luck in, in, uh, in your playthrough, friend. You were seven years old when you played it, dude. I beat Zelda 1 when I was like four and a half or five years old, back way back in the 80s. 1998 was before GameFAQ. True, buddy. True. Watch that alligator movie? Dude, what was the name of it? Jace, I forget, man. If you throw it in my Discord, Jace, if you want me to remember something, put it in my Discord. If you tell me on stream, I'll forget. I'll forget like that. It's just called alligator. Yeah, but I'll forget, man. Legit, I will forget. I'm just saying. If you put it in my Discord, like, at least I have something to look back to. Because <clears throat> if not, then I'm, like, super dumb. Yo, Oliver. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Don't die. Oliver, what the hell? Thank you so much for the, the tier one resub, man. Let's go, dude. I appreciate you, Fred. How you doing, man? One of my founders right here, Oliver, plays absolutely freaking wonderful human being, beautiful person. 
Dude, thank you so much. Dude, it's actually my two year anniversary streaming anniversary comes up like basically in like a couple weeks. I started at like the end of August, like beginning beginning of September two years ago, man. Dude, thank you so much for the freaking resub, Fred. How are you doing, man? I saw what were you playing the other day? You were playing something freaking really good. Um uh dude. And I was so happy for you. you. You had some good numbers and everything. And I was like, I'm so happy for him, man. Much love to you, dude. <clears throat> I, I, I think it might have been Cult of the Lamb because everybody's playing that recently. But it, it might have been something else that I that I like as well. <clears throat> Can we get a shout out for Oliver, please? He's such a freaking wonderful person. Please, please, please. He's super cool. Super awesome. I love Oliver a lot, man. He's great, dude. I'm not sure I could even operate my hands when I was four to five years old. Yeah, Tracker. I was playing NES since I was a kid, man. Um, I used to know how to do even Ganon's dungeon when I was real young. You did both quests without the sword? What the hell? Dude, that's a freaking challenge run. That is a crazy challenge run. That's wild. That is hardcore. I agree, Tracker. Thank you so much, Tetsuo. Um, Mega Man 1 through 10 might have been that. I just remember it was something really cool. Like, I know a lot of people are playing Cult of the Lamb right now, man. It's so popular. It's really, really, really popular. Um, but holy crap, dude. Thank you so much for the resub, friend. Always a pleasure to see you, dude. What the hell? Die. Why aren't you dying? Thank you. <clears throat> so what did you use as your weapon? Did you use like the bow and arrow and stuff? Like what, what was your main weapon during a, a no sword run of both quests too? Oh, second quest is like ridiculous. It's fun as heck. It looks really fun. It actually looks really fun and I love the look of it. I think it looks like really amazing. Yo, what the hell? Oh, no, he hit me. Dude, Oliver, what the hell? Uh, wait, what? Oliver, thank you so much for the five bomb, dude. What the frick? Well, since I'm getting so much love, dude, you don't have to do that, man. Oliver, I know that's in your nature, but dude, you don't have to do that, man. Thank you so much. What the frick? You hit Jace, you hit Bluish Meteor, Dean's Rule, Ferial, and Casper, dude. Thank you so much, man. You didn't have to do that, dude. Seriously. Thank you, Tetsuo, for shouting out Growlithe. <laughs> I love when Tetsuo does that because he does it like once a stream now. He like shouts out a Pokemon. Oh, no. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Frick. All right. Oh. Please die. Please die. Please die. Please die. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> uh, I've been out of your stream for a bit and I miss us vibing. Dude, uh, dude, don't worry about it, man. I know how it goes, dude. It's like things ebb and flow, right? And that's perfectly fine. Like, I know you've been busy. I've been busy. Like, I know you've been streaming a lot with your your friend. Um, uh, I forget her name, but like you guys are wicked close and stuff. And that's awesome, man. I'm glad that you've been making some other friends and you've been having a lot of fun, dude. Yeah, Brookie. Brookie streams. Yeah. Um, I, I'm just glad you guys have been having fun and like chilling out and freaking vibing and everything. Like, it's cool, dude. No worries at all, man. No, no need to like, you know, be sorry or apologetic or anything. I farmed money in the secret spots and then I used the torch and arrows till I got a wand. Oh, the wand, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The wand and the bombs combo. The only thing you can't do is kill Ganon. So how, so how do you kill Ganon then? Because you had to get to the second quest. So you had to kill him once, right? So what is the 
do you are you forced to use the sword to to like to to hit Ganon, right? You've been enjoying roguelikes? Yeah, dude. Um and that's awesome, man. There's a lot of good roguelike games out there. Oh yikes. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. Please stay away. Stay away. Stay away. <clears throat> um Oh, oh, there's this there. I'm out of magic. Oh, I'm out of magic. This is, this is, this is really bad. Oh, this is really bad. Oh, this is really bad. I'm out of magic somehow. Uh, I'm dead. I can't get out of here. <clears throat> you have to get the sword to kill Gan, and then in the second quest, you get the wand sooner. Okay, so you're forced to, even though you did like basically the whole playthrough as uh, as a swordless, you you're forced to use it to uh, to defeat Ganon. Everybody can thank Lej for this song. Please at Lej and thank her for this song. Uh, do I have one that I enjoy? You know, I, I, I'm not really sure. I never played Hades. I never played like, like, I think Hades is the biggest like roguelike game, right? That, that most people have played. And I never even played that one. I've been playing like a lot of, um, this is Mephiscopheles. Yeah. Lej had me add this song a while back. She was like, dude, you got to add the Bumblebee Tuna song. And then she had me add it because she won like a Marbles uh, Grand Prix. And she had me add this. And I was like, thanks, Ellie. I want to say as a kid, I watched my older brother beat Ganon without the sword by shooting a light arrow the instant he walked into the room. But this is based off a of kid memory. <clears throat> Wait, so a light, but that would be an Ocarina of Time. They don't have light arrows in, in the original NES um, Nintendo, right? You saw these guys live? Oh my gosh, that's old school. Yum, yum, bumblebee, bumblebee, tuna. All right, the snot killed me. Oh, silver arrow. Okay, okay. Okay, no, I just wanted to make sure we were we were talking about the same game because light arrows are in Ocarina of Time, and we did mention Ocarina of Time earlier. But yeah, in the um, yeah, Silver Arrows, yeah, yeah, Hades looks really cool. I just never played it. Like I never bought it and played it, and and that was like fine. I was like cool with it. I figured at some point I will, but yeah, I never played it. Like which which ones are your favorite, Oliver? Which ones do you suggest? <laughs> Satan and Ska was apparently an attractive combo for young me. <laughs> oh no, I fell. Crap. Oh. Oh, okay. Wait. All right. This should be good. Hades is dope. A lot of people like it. And I, I'm sure if I played it, it would be very addictive. It's sort of like Vampire Survivors is very addictive for me too. You have to gain him with the sword, then hit him with the silver arrows. GG is dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's usually how how I used to always play is you know hit him with um hit him with the uh, the the silver arrow once you uh, stab him a couple times if you can find him. <laughs> I just stab around like all over the place. I'm just like until I finally hit him. Just go nuts. I've been doing that since I was a kid. <clears throat> Yo, welcome back, DJ. You're actually here playing a gig about two months ago. No crap. I did. Yeah, I didn't know they still they still around and playing. Uh, oh, gosh, I got hit back. OK. Oh, nice. He died quick. Well, I hope your Internet gets gets stable for you, DJ, because that sucks having to deal with that, man, honestly.
Dude, these blobs are just sitting here and they're just being stupid. Yeah, he's gonna... Freaking blobs, man. Come on, dude. Damn. Hold on, I'll I'll catch up in a moment. Uh <clears throat> Yo, thanks so much, Nintendo Ghost. I appreciate it a lot, man. Thank you for the 100 bits. Appreciate the good luck. I hope you have a great rest of your night. And uh, yeah, thank you, thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend. Yeah, I'm, I might smash my TV, but <clears throat> it reminded me of my friend when you said smash TV. It reminded me of the game Smash TV and my, my buddy Tetsuo like, has speed run that. So I was like, smash TV? <laughs> Roguelites that scratch my 16-bit itch, to be honest. Dead oh, Dead Cells. That's right. I've seen you playing that as well. Oh, Binding of Isaac is good too. Loop Hero, I don't think I've really... I've heard of it, but I haven't really seen anybody play it. Thank you again, Nintendo Ghosts. Man, that's awesome of you, dude. I wanted to see them, but I had the past due to life stuff. Oh, that sucks. If they're playing after all the time, maybe you'll get another shot. Yeah, maybe you will. Can you just, can, can you, oh my gosh. Okay. This is not good. All right. We're going to try this again. Uh, all right. We're going to start with breaker. Loop over and over. Come on, dude. It shouldn't take that many hits. I'm wasting magic now. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. It was great having Nintendo Ghost here, man. Always nice to meet somebody that like enjoys or has seen like some of the some of the horror movies that I've seen because <laughs> I was into some some pretty crazy freaking um, like, I don't know, obscure sort of underground horror movies and stuff. So that's really cool. Loop here is a guilty pleasure. I feel like, I don't know if I've seen people playing it. My fave. Ooh, kind of tough. I'm really partial to, uh, to Romero's day of the dead. I really like that one a lot. I've watched it a ton and I have, um, I've like listened to it while I was at work. Like I put it on my phone and I had my headphones in and I was just listening to it. Like, I love that film. Like that's, that's a pleasure of mine, that movie. All right. Nice. Good kill. So I'd probably say Romero's, like the Romero trilogies up there for me. <clears throat> um, Lucio Fulci's work, S -S Suspiria is is up there for me. Um, there's like, I, I'm big into like zombies and stuff. And, and there's sort of a lot of that to go around. But, you know, ones that do it good and ones that kind of don't do it good are sort of like, you know. Oh gosh. Uh There's a lot of different ones. Evil Dead's really good. Oh no. Damn. Would I consider Bug a horror? Uh Which one was Bug? Is that old school? Is Bug black and white? I know they released things like ants and stuff like that. That's black and white, right? I 
I was thinking, I'm like, that sounds familiar, but like, I think that's black and white. That's like old school. Oh, you know what else is really good? Um, the thing, the thing, John Carpenter's The Thing is an absolute freaking, one of the best uh, horror movies ever made. Yeah, restarting DJ. The thing is an absolute, like, th like the best freaking um, horror uh, uh, sci-fi movie ever ever made. Basically, um, I enjoyed also um, Invasion of the Body Snatchers was cool. Am I fast zombies or slow zombies? Slow zombies all day. You got to go slow zombies. You got to go slow zombies. Like I don't, like I've watched the um, 28 days later, 28 weeks later type of stuff, which is fine. But yeah, I'll take Romero zombies over, over the fast stuff any day. <clears throat> but there's some neat movies with fast zombies in it. Ooh, that jump was very weak. Very weak, very weak. Come on. There we go. Nice. Yeah, sorry, Oliver. I got to go. Like, I I understand they're, they're scary as heck because they're so fast, but... I got to go, I got to go fast zombie on this one. Discretion's down. Oh no. I got to come up with a good strap for this guy. Damn it. Come on. Oh no, no, come on, dude. But there's like, there's a lot of good zombie movies that are out there. Um, some that I can't even think of. I can't even really think of the, uh, the names of, but there's some really good z zombie films out there. Uh, the dead next door is pretty cool. It's, it's very, um, I think it might've been done. I don't think it was done by the guy that did Evil Dead, but he drew a lot of inspiration from the guy that did Evil Dead. And also, um, what else is there? Uh, the Let Sleeping Corpses Lie is another really good one. That's sort of, sort of reminiscent of uh, Night of the Living Dead, kind of. <clears throat> Maybe chat will agree too, but slow zombies feel more well zombies, but fast ones feel more like feral. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's that's a good point. Let the right one in. That sounds very familiar. You know what I also really like is um uh shoot Midsummer. I really like Midsummer and Hereditary. Like that director is like a really good director of like newer style. Also a big fan of like the cannibal horror movies, like cannibal, um, cannibal Holocaust and stuff. That's an old school freaking horror movie, dude. Cannibal Holocaust is, that's a, that's a, that's a hardcore movie to watch. Dude. Oh, the, the blob frick. It was too boring or slow for you? I guess, Jace, if you're looking for like constant or, you know, if you're looking for something fast paced, it definitely builds. It definitely builds. But that's what's that's what is really the great the great point about is is just how it focuses on like who's the real, you know, the real savage here, which ends up being the, the human beings is. <clears throat> I'm I'm 
like I, I very much extreme horror. Uh, I, I like that used to be my thing was like me and my friend would literally look out for like the really extreme horror stuff. And we would watch that type of stuff a lot. Um, dude, the freaking blobs, dude. You were expecting straight up gore. Yeah, you're not going to get that with that, but you are going to get some 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 really really serious imagery um in that movie. Be careful when you watch that one, especially if you're not a fan of uh of um like you know, animal uh like cruelty, if you will. Um stay away from that one. That's that's a that's a big content warning there for you. <clears throat> That's the part that really a lot of people can't take. But the the how real it is, dude, the director literally got like put in in jail and had to go to trial because he had the the actors and actresses stay um uh they they went into hiding after the production was done and the film got released. And they really thought those people died. That's how real it like appears. The hype got to it. I'm telling you, man, I that movie is 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 wild. That movie is absolutely wild. Not for the faint of heart, that one. But yeah, it it does have like it's definitely not straight up gore. It's, but when it does, it's, it, it does what it, what it's, you know, supposed to do, I guess. And it does it pretty well, I think. But yeah, you're not going to get straight up, straight up gore. <clears throat> I mean, if you really want that, you can go watch, um, what's it called? Oh, the guinea pig series. There's one of them in particular from the guinea pig series. It's literally like a half hour long and it's just, I, I won't even, I won't even say what it is. Uh, it's called the flower of flesh and blood. I won't even say what it is, but yeah, it's, it's a half hour long. <clears throat> So why? I'm actually curious as to why peeps gravitate to horror like that. I'm more subtle getting stalked, unnamed horror, something extreme force. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. We were just drawn to it. We were just drawn to it at the time. I, we were like, I in particular was like a gore hound. I just really liked to, to watch what what they could do in film and how they went about doing it. I think special effects back then were just really, really cool. Um, Tom Savini doing special effects instead of CGI stuff. It's just really kind of neat the way they could do certain things. Um, and, uh, a lot of those movies had really, really, some of them had really great special effects. It's not always though. You don't care too much for the gore, but slashers are my favorite. Slashers are really good. Slashers are really good. There, and there's some really good slashers that are out there. Um, uh, the check out the burning, if I remember correctly, that's like, uh, that was cool. Um, there's a lot of good slashers out there um, that aren't as popular as like your Halloweens and your Friday the 13th and stuff. <clears throat> it's not about the blood. It's about the pacing and watching annoying people die. <laughs> kind of. Some of them really get like a point across. Like Cannibal Holocaust is very extreme, but it, the point it gets across is that like people went looking for these savage tribes and stuff. And it was like, Oh, they're cannibals. So obviously they're, they're savage and all this stuff. And it's like, but then really it was like these humans were going into these like tribal areas and like, you know, basically screwing with them wicked hardcore and just, and then it was like, well, the humans are the real, you know, animal here and stuff. So, Did have an interesting message at the end of it all. Yeah, this guy's going to hit me. This guy's going to hit me. Okay. But yeah, it's just, I don't know. When we were younger and like getting getting stoned and just like 
watching these horror movies, it was like my buddy would look up the reviews and he would buy based upon the reviews. And I think a lot of people were really looking for extreme style horror because it seemed like <clears throat> a lot of the things that he would get were um, sort of like more geared towards that in a way. But then I think some of the stuff we were getting, he was just looking out for like super extreme stuff like <laughs> flower of flesh and blood. Like he would, we would go home on lunchtime, get baked and like watch that because it was like 30 minutes long. We could just do that. We could just sit there for a half hour, watch that. It was, which is kind of dumb, but I think he watched it like a bunch of times. <clears throat> but there's some pretty interesting films out there with, uh, I mean, <laughs> uh, you know, for every, you know, really cool movie that you got, then you got your, your Salo. If you know what that is, if you know what the movie Salo is, I, I, you know, I feel bad for you because <laughs> I've watched that film before. Um, there's also a movie about like, uh, what's it called? What's the movie that's like about Julie, like, is it Julius Caesar or something like that? But it's, it's done by the old, uh, the guy that owned Hustler, he like directed it. So it's literally just like part horror movie, part like freaking like sex film, basically. It's that's a wild movie. Like, I don't know, man. <laughs> But I do like uh, Midsummer a lot. That's a cool movie. That reminds me a lot of um, uh, Midsummer. Reminds me a lot of uh, what's it called? The Wicker Man. The Wicker Man's really cool. Not familiar? Yeah, I forget what the name of it is. Honestly, um, I just know it's about like a Roman emperor or something like that, but I forget what the name of it is. Come on, dude. Give me something good. Give me a health drop. Please. Thank you. I need to come up with a good strat for that last face, man. That last face is sort of the final frontier for me. But what about John Hughes films, you know? What about what about nice films like uh The Breakfast Club? <laughs> oh, finally. All right, cool. <clears throat> I do love The Breakfast Club. Vanilla Sky is a nice film. I don't think I ever watched it. I didn't watch like those those films that were like in that period of time from Tom Cruise, um like Vanilla Sky and and what was the other ones? We were talking about them one time. There's like a series of films that he released around that time that I never, never saw. This is Nova Charter's song. All right, that's not too bad. That's not too bad health. Ya boy, it's your boy Nova Chata. It's worth it. <clears throat> yeah, there's that one. There's a lot of these like interesting movies that he released. Sort of like I don't know if they're all sort of like sexual movies. It was, I think it was around the time that he was married or whatever to um what's her name that redhead? 
I used to think she was like really, really pretty back in the day. This is some music for this game, isn't it? Yeah, the he was dating that redhead at the time. <clears throat> they used to be in uh, some Nicole Kidman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, perfect music for, for this game. Oh my gosh, a Niv actually sang Nicole Kidman. Okay, a Niv. They paint paradise and put up a parking lot. Yeah, a Niv knows. No, it's uh, definitely Nicole Kidman. <coughs> Strawberry Blonde? <clears throat> no, DJ, she's definitely, uh, I would say she's definitely much more of a redhead for sure. Definitely. I mean, it's, I guess I, I could I could go with strawberry blonde, but yeah, definitely I would choose redhead over blonde. 100%. Does she have green eyes? But rolls die here, so I yeah, that's true. That's true as well. Um, but yeah, I, I've always thought she was a she was a redhead, like a real like natural redhead. Because I I don't think her hair color was very like sort of bright or anything. It was sort of like you know that sort of sort of. Like, I don't know other way to put it, but sort of dull, like not shiny looking, um, more natural looking redhead. You know what I mean? Like usually when people dye their hair, it has sort of a shine to it. I love this song. any Devin Townsend fans Matt yeah like it has like a shine to it right like I wouldn't describe hair color as being matte like as it like a paint color but at the same time usually it has sort of like a shine to it like it's very kind of bright shiny when you when you dye when you dye your hair I felt like hers seemed more natural looking. But, you know, what do I know? Maybe she did. Uh, let's see. So we're getting this face. Now we're going to go for this one. Oh no, I got hit. Frick. Oh, frick. Come on, get out of here, snot face. He again, dude. Wow, he came back. I thought he was going to go off the screen. Then he's like, zoop. <clears throat> oh, you were referring to the natural? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I, I don't think natural looks like matte. I think uh, more dyed hair would look like sort of matte. Oh, uh, I think that was too high to hurt him. Yo, Stuffy, what's going on? I think that that first one actually did hit. I don't, I didn't think it did, but I think it did. Um, yo, Stuffy, what's going on? Welcome on in, friend. Uh, how is the rest of uh, Celeste treating you? I saw you were like, 
you you found the computer so you were playing the old school celeste game and then you got really hooked into playing that one so did you uh go back and make more progress on the like the the i guess the real game so you can't oliver you can't because nothing hurts the the green snot blob <laughs> get heck jace get heck dude jace i think you got hit with a sub just uh recently or, or maybe it wasn't recently maybe it wasn't one of the ones that that oliver uh i don't remember you almost got all the strawberries in the computer game but missed one to a fluke Oh, you did finish the hotel part. It was tonight. Okay, I thought it was tonight. That's awesome, though. You're loving it. It's it's so good, isn't it? Is that Marie's croc emo? Oh, my gosh. I didn't know Marie had a croc emo. Uh, let's see. I'm going to need... What is it? No, not Twin Fire. We need Breaker. Dude, he's back again. Get out of here. Damn it. Stop hitting. Dude, stop. Freaking get out of here, dude. He's really pinging me now. He keeps coming back with a fiery passion when I'm on this one. Dude, what the? It was nice chatting with you, my guy. I'll talk. I'll talk to you later. Yo, no worries at all, man. Thank you so much for being here, dude. I appreciate it a lot, man. Oh my gosh, dude. Did you get a new emote with the heart? That looks super cute, bro. That looks uh that looks really cool. I like that emote with the heart, man. I didn't see that one before now. Uh much love, broski. Thank you so much for coming through and hanging out tonight, man. I appreciate it. What the hell? Come on. Can you can you just die? Can you just die? Why aren't you dying? I'm literally hitting you 20 million freaking times. Why aren't you dying? Hello? Why are none of my shots hitting? <clears throat> the salt is real. I've definitely seen the 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 pop emote. Uh, but I never saw the the heart one. That's really cute, man. I like it a lot, man. Um, but thank you so much, dude. Thank you so much for the the five gifties as well. You didn't have to do it, dude. But thank you so much, friend. You're heckin' sweet. Uh, all right, we're we're going back to Twin Fire. I just wasted a lot of magic trying to kill that one face for no good reason. Okay. Oh. No, stop. All right, now I'm like messing up this one. Not to mention that this face is, or the, the blob is being stupid dumb. Okay, I just entered my own chat room. Oh my gosh, is this really a strat? Can you just like sit here like this? That's, if you go into the lava and then freeze the lava, you can just stand there and freaking hit him. Sean, what's up, dude? Oh my gosh, he says, easy, easy. Sean, how, did you make any other progress tonight, dude? Are you still on, uh, I think you're on five now. You made it past four. GG's on making it past freaking stage four. He's on stage five now. I fully believe. I believe in you, Sean. I believe in you, friend. I know you can do this. Uh... 
Uh, let's see. <clears throat> what happened to the sh I don't know. Something's up with stream elements. Got some new strats, but still on stage five. Isn't that, isn't that the way it works? No, 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 no. Hmm. I might have been one hit away from killing that guy. GG's, Sean, man. That's the whole thing is like getting certain strats. It's literally just like finding out strats and then executing them. That's what this game is all about. Thank you, uh... Thank you, DJ, for the shout out for Sean, man. It worked on screen. It just, I, I don't know why either. It was, wor it worked before, didn't it? Wait. Let me check something real quick. I'm curious. I'm going to look at something real quick on stream elements. I didn't change it to an announcement, right? But. I did change it to an announcement. Is that why? But I feel like it worked before. I feel like it worked before. All right, let's get back to it. Yeah, it definitely worked before. Yeah, that's why I'm like, huh? I don't know. Stage five is the easy stage. Nah, 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 nah. They're none, none of them are the easy stage, okay? I don't I don't take that first. Oh, gosh. No, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here, snot face. Okay. <clears throat> Yo, Pixie, what's going on? Oh, no, I got hit. I got hit by the snot. Happy Friday to you, friend. How is everything going? How is the rest of your stream? It's the green snot. The, the snot is green. Ugh. Oh my gosh. How, uh, yeah, because uh, Pixie, Pixie recently just became partner. She's a part of the Pug Club, a wonderful member of the Pug Club. Absolutely wonderful streamer. Great person, does a lot of like uh, from software games and a lot of like cool challenges and like Dark Souls games, Sekiro, <clears throat> but also likes to do really cool things like uh, she's been doing a lot of Cult of the Lamb and um, and just like, you know, generally having a lot of fun. Loving Cult of the Lamb. Yeah, it looks like it's a ton of fun, honestly. And with like everything going on, you've been like, uh, having a heck of a lot of fun. It looked like your streams have been just like an absolute ball. I'm doing well. Uh, I'm, I'm just trying to beat this game. This is the last stage. This is a very hard Nintendo game called Holy Diver. Um, it is not easy, but hey, we're up for the challenge and we're making our way through it. And you're no, um, you're no, uh, um, you don't run from a challenge. You like challenges. So, uh, this should, <laughs> this is just a, a retro challenge, if you will. Yeah, you've been going pretty hard, especially with getting partnered. And then you were up at like 4 a.m. And probably you lost out on a lot of sleep that day. And we're just very excited in general. So you definitely have been putting a, a lot of effort in and probably been propping yourself up a bit. But uh, you deserve um you know, all the sleep, but all the, all the love and all the, the respect. And, uh, um, you definitely worked your darn butt off and you, you made it. So, uh, congrats to you. You deserve, uh, some, some R and R for sure. Oh, the snot. Oh gosh. The snot. Okay. Bounce me back here. This is good. This is okay. Come on, die. Die, sir. Thank you. Curious to see this retro challenge. I've not played many retro games, so it's refreshing. Yeah, it is. It is something else. It's tough. Um, it's doable, though. People have done this 
um, this game as a much harder challenge even than what I'm doing it here. Um, they've done it as a, as a much harder challenge. So I should be able to do this. All right, let's do this and then switch back. But these stupid, oh, look at the snot blob. Literally, these things are the worst. You can't kill these stupid green snot blobs and they come at you very, very hard, very fiercely. And I think that this enemy right here, oh no, I'm not set to magic. Please, sir, could you just die? I think it regains its, if you go off the screen, I think it regains its HP back. Please. This is so tough. I can't develop a good strat for this. Oh, I'm out of magic. You are correct. You should be able to do this, yet here we are. It's true. It's true, Ellie. <laughs> Thanks for the boat of confidence, Ellie. Pixie, I know you're, uh, you're you know... Super run down and, and had a lot of long days this week. I appreciate you coming through and hanging out with this friend. Um, it's always lovely to have you here. I've been uh, definitely enjoying myself uh, hanging out in your streams recently and getting to, uh, you know, hang out with, more with your community while I'm, you know, going throughout my work day and everything. Oh, okay. Come on, die, die, sir, sir, sir. Thank you. I swear you have to hit these faces in like a very specific spot or they just, they just don't respond. Uh, oh, breaker? I thought it was on Blizzard. What the heck? Okay. No, no, no. Oh, cripes. Okay, we made it through. Now we have one more part of this <clears throat> been meaning to drop by just big chilling no no worries no worries at all i'm i'm just trying to enjoy myself i got some tunes on and i am trying to beat this oh no oh it hit me well i don't have to worry about trying to get the stupid things now because what Come on, dude. I finally get here and now you're just going to screw me? Oh, gosh. I hate these jumps. Dude, screw this jump. It's like a one frame jump to get through this. Oh, the blizzard. I forgot to do blizzard. I forgot. You have to use a combination of Blizzard and Overdrive, and I completely forgot. Oh, 
that's what was making this so much harder. I forgot you got to use Blizzard. <clears throat> oh, come on. Also, remember, if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. It's true. Dude, just, sir. Oh, the blue. Oh, no. <clears throat> well, I made it up there, but that's it. It's one try. Literally one try, and that's 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 it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, that wasn't going to work. <laughs> I actually did defeat part of it, like one little piece of it. So that's a new. I That was like a new. A new thing for me. We're going to get it. We're going to get it. I'm telling you, tonight's the night. I'm trying, Pixie. We're going to get there. We'll get there. It's it's going to be tough. This is this is not an easy game. This game is very very challenging. Think of this as like this is the millennia fight right here, Pixie. And I'm up for the challenge. I don't mind a challenge. All right, give me this. Give me this health. I'll take that. All right, kill him. <clears throat> I think that was maybe close too. Breaker is definitely... My thought around Breaker, I think, is correct. Breaker shoots through everything and does multiple damage. So I think that is the best thing to use for that boss. But you got to be careful. You got to be careful of the projectiles and then the spider on the floor. We just got to decide what we're going to do after this because I'm not quite sure which which way I want to go next with what I'm going to play next. I've been doing a lot of retro NES stuff, which is fine. Yeah, the flying toenails. Um, I do have Cuphead as like a really cool indie game that would also be a challenge. If only you had recommendations in your Discord. <clears throat> um, Set wants me to play Monster Party. That's another one. Then he had some other game. Give me that health. I never played Monster Party ever. Like, I don't even know 
any anything about that game. Absolutely not a thing. Another magic. Come on. Give me some health. Drop me health. I need one more. Nice. Give me that health. No. No. There goes there goes the health. I didn't say it. <clears throat> I said health and it definitely misheard me. All right, we got him. All right, now drop me some health. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It fired off of the word health, but... Well, I know Jace didn't hear it because if he heard it, he would have done the, the Marie... Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. You going to more strats? No, not more strats, dude. Not more, less strats. Come on, come on, come on. <clears throat> Dude, just give me some freaking health. Nobody needs magic. And you've provided me a lot of it. I probably could turn it back on now. I could turn it back on. <clears throat> Where is it? Where is it? Do, 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 do. There. Now it should be enabled. Damn. Damn. Yep. There it is. It's back. <clears throat> Ellie, thank you so much for the ayaya. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, we got. Oh, there's Jace. I was going to say Jace didn't hear it because he would have done the, the Marie Aya. Come on. Stop game. Odd. I didn't even. I didn't even. I didn't even. That's all I got to say about that. Do 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 do. All right. 
Uh, I'm down to three. That's not great. Oh gosh, stop jumping at me. Stop jumping, stop jumping. No, 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 no. Okay, this is good. <clears throat> Don't you hate it when you look at things on the ceiling only to find them all cockeyed? Yeah. Oh, 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 gosh. What the hell? What? Why are you down there? Okay, this guy is really being annoying. Like, I have to take the hit because he's right there. I can't not take that hit. Sometimes you just got to take the hit. Oh, gosh. What are you doing here? I... S Yeah, that was big time jerk face stuff there. Look at the double. You see the double right there, DJ? There was two guys in, in the same frame. So sometimes you shoot one, you're like, oh yeah, he's dead. And then you try to jump and there's another one that was right there. There's two of them. You better stop, DJ. You better stop, okay? Two guys at the same time. I see you, DJ. You're not going to get me. He's playing innocent. He's playing innocent right now. Look at him. It's the double. All right, hearts. I'm telling you, this game gives you hearts when you need magic and magic when you need hearts. It just knows. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Yeah, you get the double and then it's just it, you're out the door. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Not even a thank you. All right, let's just go for it. Let's go for it. We're probably going to die anyway. All right. <clears throat> oh. Okay. Watch out for the, the snot. Come on. All right. There we go. Uh, we need breaker. I don't know how it didn't. Do, 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 do. Oh, oh. Thought he was gonna, I thought he was like gonna hit me. I hate that guy. Stealing one of my attempts at the final boss right there. Okay. Sir, can you just get out of here completely? That'd be great. That thing's just floating around the screen. <clears throat> yeah, stop trying to hit me, please. That'd be great. Thanks. Okay. Okay.
Damn. Damn. Gonna hit my head because I didn't jump in the right spot. Two green stupid blobs. No, that was bad timing on the jump. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. I have six lives right now. I have six lives. This is the absolute best shot I have right here. Holy freaking crap. Um, okay, I need Blizzard, first of all. Blizzard. <clears throat> Oh, I know I haven't won it yet. Oh, come on. Come on. Damn, that jump, dude. Okay. Oh. Oh no. Yes, baby. Holy frick. Damn it. Come on, come on, stop, get out of here. Yeah, damn. Stupid spider, dude. Oh, you jerk. Come on. No, don't. All right, you need to kill the top ones first. I didn't realize that the top ones are the ones throwing the projectile at you. Oh, but the bottom ones are also throwing projectiles at you. There's two... There's two. Oh, no.
Hmm. That's what I'm thinking, Sean. Now I'm on the thunder, the thunder game. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Dude, get the frick out of here. No way! No way! What is this? What is this? No! No, game, why? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? I hate you. I hate you with a fiery burning passion. I hate you. There shouldn't be a phase two. There shouldn't be a phase two. There shouldn't be a phase two. Why? This game literally said you didn't, you didn't hate me enough. Here's phase three. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's turn on game audio here. <clears throat> After a long and difficult battle, Randy finally retrieved the five different emblem seals belonging to the King Crimson family. What is that word? Exdelled? Expelled? Is that supposed to be expelled, but it's exdelled? Exdelled with his great... Exdelled? The Black Slayer, Emperor of the Darkness, and his devil followers in into the graveyard in another dimension. I'll catch up with chat in a moment. Hold on, hold on. Thus, the apocalypse of the black magic reached the end, and in the magic world, two new wizard kings, Zach, Zach Wild, Zach Wild and Randy Rhodes Crimsons mounted the thrones to open again the age of light. Where was Zach Wild at the whole time? Where's Zach? Where's my buddy Zach? Is this two player? What a great ending theme. Can we get a second to acknowledge just how good this ending theme is? Holy freaking crap! Let's go! The end. It's finally here. The end. It's finally here. Oh god. It's finally over. Now Mixer's like, dude. No. no. <laughs> Mixer's like, dude, when's the three health challenge? Uh, all right. Going back now. 
at least the final form was not as bad as the first form. Sean, thank you so much for the GG's, dude. It's great to have you here to witness this, man. Mixer, you as well. Thank you so much for the GG's, dude. What the hell? Tracker, thank you so much for the GG's. Nova Charter, thank you so much for the GG's. Awesome job, dude. Thank you, Mixer. This is absolutely wild. This is wild. DJ, thank you so much for the claps. Jace, thank you so much for the claps, dude. Yeah, phase three. Thank you, everybody. Holy crap. Randy finally did it. Yeah, they knew how unintelligible their font was and scrolled at three FPS. Now, Calf will recite the entire song, Holy Diver, in celebration. Obi. Thank you so much, Obi. What the hell, man? How you doing, buddy? Welcome on in. <laughs> Appreciate you lurking about, dude. And DJ, thank you so much for the uh, the shout out for Obi. He's a he's a wonderful friend of ours. DJ, thank you so much for the time warp tracker. Thank you so much for the claps and 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 uh, the you did it. I did it, man. Finally did it. I'm a man now, says Jace. Oh my gosh, I th I felt my balls drop at the end of that. How many streams did it take? Five total. I believe five. Well, not, not, I'm not even done with this one, but yeah, five. Now I just have to do it. <clears throat> now I just have to do a full playthrough with no save states. Right, guys? Right? Right, guys? Right? Right, guys? Right? Right, guys? Mixer beat this blindfolded on a power pad. Mixer, is this true? Can you confirm? Blindfolded on a power Did you do it on the power glove? Were you wearing the glove and you were like... true i think it's true he enjoys the challenge i wouldn't put it past him <laughs> dude this is a wild freaking ride holy crap and i appreciate you all being here to witness this monumental occasion i beat holy diver can't believe it good freaking gracious that was an absolute wild ride if ever i've seen one dude mythic beast what the hell we're all sexy women out there i don't know what mythic beast is posting in my discord right now but i think that's the same thing mythic beast posted in uh in cfbs and see and somebody was like dude there's actually an nsfw channel all right what do we play next what is the next challenge 